What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Come on, let's go! There you go. All right, now stay close to the dog, son. Come! When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick of hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. Come on. Let's go. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, huh? You me? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. Whoa. Come on. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Mom wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. It's a little late for that, Paul. Yeah! Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Let's go. Easy. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Oh, what were you eating? Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Shouldn't we be going? All right, let's see if we can find some more. Go on, Rufus. Go! You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul! Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at I know, at. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, take the lead.
Go on, Rufus. Go on, boy. Yeah. Stay on him, boy. Come on. Good boy, Rufus. Look, they're over there. Stay calm. Whoa! You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. I'll find him. I saw where he went down. Should be just over here. I know I saw him go down somewhere around here. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? You wait here. I'll be just a moment. Oh, he's in the market. Yeah, you're all set. Hello, Mr. Marston. Nice doing business with you. All done. Let's head home. How do you do, Mr. Marston? Out of the stew and pot for a couple days. 
And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Let's go. I'll be rich one day. Then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? much fun I can't rightly believe it just like in the books we'll do it again soon now get to your chores